There are 70 trace elements in natural seawater. These are things that are found in such small quantity that we can't really test for them. What we do know is that out of the 70 trace elements that exist in the aquarium and in natural seawater, there are 17 of them that will go down very quickly in a reef aquarium. What Tropic Marin does is to give you two solutions that separate those trace elements into mostly the anionic trace elements and mostly the cationic trace elements, and that way they don't precipitate as quickly in solution. A elements is made up of the seven mostly anionic trace elements. These are bromine, fluorine, iodine, lithium, molybdenum, selenium, and vanadium in pure mineral form. K elements is made up of the 10 mostly cationic trace elements. Those are strontium, barium, iron, manganese, copper, zinc, nickel, chrome, cobalt, and boron. Now with trace elements, less is more. So just like with carbon dosing, if you're starting trace elements in an aquarium that is established, that has never had trace elements added to it before, you want to start with a quarter of a dose and slowly work your way up. If you see that there is the growth of any undesirable algae, if you stop your trace element addition, in a week or two that algae will die off and then you start again with a quarter of a dose and again try to work your way up. You do that as long as you need to until you get to the maximum dose. Now, you want to get to a dose of about one milliliter per 25 gallons per day. If your tank is very heavily stocked with corals, you could go as much as two milliliters per 25 gallons per day. 